semifinals. already as they get to the warm-up and uh, we have a lot of people on the edge of their seats right now our umpire is mr wayana of indonesia he's assisted in the service judge by mr Teng dan liang of china and there they are the flag waving the drum beating crowd and they will definitely encourage the Malaysians forward. In terms of performances in previous men's doubles, Chung Tam Phuc and Lee Wan Hua have been the champions for the last two years. So, a real big chance to keep the Malaysian, Malaysian flag flying high. Here is the Koreans, however, they are world ranked number three. So, not a great deal you can say except that they will be absolutely flying typical korean style aggressive world rank five the korea uh, the uh, malaysians but in this tournament they are three in the uh, in the head-to-heads in fact they have played each other only once before and on that occasion, it was Malaysia that came out on top. That was in 2007, in October, the Macau Open Grand Prix gold. And Malaysia won that one. Here's how the Malaysians got this far. 21-6, 21-6 against the Cambodia pair. No problems there. 21-13, 21-14 against the Japanese pair. And then against their own countrymen, it was a little bit harder. 21-11, 12-21, but then... Fairly easy in the third at 21-10. Moving over now to the Koreans. They got to the stage with a clear record in terms of two love, two love. But look at that one. Against Gunawan and Riyadi in Indonesia, it went to 22-20 in the second. Much easier against the Japanese in the third. There's our umpire, Mr. Wayana. And... 
he has got the task of trying to control not only a match. Oh, there's uh, Cheng Tan Liang of China. But he's got to control the crowd as well because there will be big, big emotions here. No doubt at all. So, it's all set. Hang on to your seats at home, wherever you are in Malaysia. Wherever you are in Korea, this is going to be a cracker. The last of our semi-finals that we're showing you today. The Koreans are with their backs to camera. Ladies and gentlemen, on my left, Jung Jae-sung and De Yong Hee, Korea. And on my right, Ko Ken Kit and Tan Peng Kiong, Malaysia. Yong Hee, Jung Sae, Ko Ken Kit, Lawal, Flip. Here we go then. And the Koreans start. Well, that's the first point, Malaysia. That is aggression. My goodness me, straight into it. That is impressive. Tambun Hyong, of course, is the lefty. KKK, Ku Kiang Kiang. The right hander there, but the lefty is serving. It's long. The 19 year old is the net. But Jung makes a mess of it. They're all very excited. You can tell the way that they're moving around the court. Up on his toes as he serves that one. And easily for K, K, K. <laughs> I think you could probably say that was okay. Easy anyway, it was half court, it was a nothing shot. 4-1. And cool will serve. The game, they are really in dynamic form at the moment. Look at this, no compromise. It's hard, it's aggressive, it's exciting, it's 5-1. Again from the appropriate corner, that would be lovely. A knockdown, but he's not out. One, two, three, four, and up. No, not quite. <laughs> Couldn't get to his feet, but that was a tremendous effort by Ku Kian Kian. He missed the point ultimately, but wow, fantastic. Thank you, Mr. Producer. Brilliant shots all round. It's in. Another big hit from Ku Kian Kian. It makes it 6-2. Oh, they are excited, aren't they? Liu Chu missed out yesterday, as did Wong. Wong Chun Han, a brave effort from him. Lee Chong Wei is not here either. But uh, we certainly have, well, we missed out on the defending champions as well, of course. Chung Tam Fook and Lee Wan Wah lost out, but uh, here is another big, big Malaysian hope. And they're in the lead by four. Look at this. How fast. How speedy. A big, big clear. Difficult to control. It won't matter. Lee. Lee Yong Day. There he is. 19 year old of star of the future. Of Korean badminton, no doubt at all about that. Some great shots all round. Tam Boon Hyong asking for a little feel of the shuttle as Jung serves. Brilliant pick up, it's out of court. That is. 7-3. <laughs> You'll see a lot of smiles, that's for sure. The 
more Malaysia scores wants the signal is away from me maybe when he takes the next uh, game we'll be able to look at it that's a clever piece of play four seven good work from Jung they've got to keep the pressure on as Lee Young Day takes the serve More touch play here before they open up to the big boomers. More touch play. Great backhand recoveries there, but that's not five seven. Good enough. Leon Day at the net is in control. Some great defensive work until that moment. Right there. Five seven. Good oh. comes in with a good in. Clever from the left hander. Look at that. He was right over that. Inside out. Good whip. It's short and he goes in for it on that signal. This is great play. Excellent work. Good net play. They shaped up the play the smashes on three occasions there and they just persisted at the net with great reward nine and five look at that lovely drop union still with the service that was in it's six nine rexy mainaki will be really pleased former Olympic champion, of course, 1996. Don't be pleased with what is happening at the moment. They're keeping a good, good tempo in this game of the Malaysians. And a lovely touch at the net. Great work by Ku Kian Kiat. Well, they really are pumped up. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's a change. Gone to the side, you see. Big hit this time from Jung. The first time we've seen Jung Jai Sung make a really big impression. He won the silver medal at the 2007 World Championships together with Lee Young Day. That was in Malaysia. Defeated in the final by Kido and Setiwan of Indonesia, 20, uh, 1921, 1921. It's a close affair, so they really have got a great pedigree, these two Koreans. They've been there and done it, they know how. But they haven't reckoned on the, the local spirit here in Johor Bahru. That's out of court. And that is 11 7 as they go to the break in the first. And the crowd here in Malaysia are really, really pleased with what they've seen so far. They've been aggressive. They've been really, really pumping in those, uh, those smashes. And they've also had a really good touch at the net as well. So, quite deservedly, they are four points in the lead at the moment at the interval 11 points to seven. Seven. 
little calm before the storm of the second half of the first game. It's 11-7 to Malaysia. They will continue to serve. And it will be Tan Boon Yong who will serve. Must be good, aggressive control. No doubt at all, Bunyong just kept on the pressure, eventually wins it for 12-7. This is going to be short. Absolutely on top of their game, don't they? The Malaysians. Kukia is absolutely flying. Kukia was absolutely in control at the net and then with the big, big jump smash, he makes it 14-7. Just out, unlucky. It was a good effort, but I tell you, they are absolutely pumped up at the moment. The Koreans don't know which way to turn. And again, look at that, that is stunning. Cool kick here. Well, you can't accuse him of being slovenly, can you? My gosh, what speed and aggression. Brilliant. Rexy will absolutely adore that approach. This is great stuff. 15-8 in the first. Just, ooh, called in. It was called in. And that's 16-8. Wow, everything going Malaysia's way at the moment. They're going to persist with the short serve. And that's another one for 17-8. And again, it's impetus, it's momentum, it's confidence oozing through this Malaysian squad at the minute. Now there's a longer one. There's over 9-17. Surely they're not going to give this game up now. This is they played too well. Unlucky there, the lefty Bun Hyong can't quite get round it. And that's ten, another point. Eight. It's ten. Hyong <laughs> Day. Whoa! Yes, well. <laughs> That'll get the crowd going. And I hope. It'll bring a smile to all you Malaysian viewers as well, because that was fabulous. 18-10. It was just long. Too good there. Jung finishes it. Set up by uh, Yongde. It's Jung with the serve. They haven't had a chance to show those skills much. 13-18, there's still a big gap there. There's a lot of breathing space between them. But the Koreans, they don't need asking or inviting twice, I tell you. They are such a confident and confident pair normally, but they've just been blown away at the moment. It can't last forever, can it? No. <laughs> Just for the difference, three in a row for Korea. A service fault, a service fault called, and I don't even th think the crowd realise it. Now they do. Service fault called by China's 
was Zheng Tan Liang. It was a long service, it didn't work. 1940. It's long. Wow, Lee Jung Dai was very lucky with that one. I got a feeling he tried to play it and missed it. Let's have a look at it again. He, well, no, maybe he left it. <laughs> 16, 19. Well, it's getting closer than the Malaysian crowd would like. Two points required for Malaysia to see off this first game. Surely. Oh, it's back into rally again. They should have won that. They should still win it. They have. It's 2016. It's game point in the first, Malaysia. Big smiles, big clappers. Yonix clappers there going. And the drums continue the rhythm of Johor. little wriggly finger what does that mean is that going high no it's a big pick up it's a big hit and it's there 21 to 16 that is a fabulous first game for Kung Kian Kian and Tan Boon Hyong of Malaysia that's exactly what this tournament required a big lift on the final the final semi-final match on court the Malaysians are in with a great chance of securing a place in the final and beating the reigning silver medalists in the World Championship from Kuala Lumpur last year. And some more fun around the stadium here. Rexy must be really, really pleased with the aggression. There's no doubt at all. He couldn't have done, couldn't have asked for more from this pair. A wonderful player in his day, and a fabulous coach, a demanding coach as well. On the other side, Lee Dong Su of Korea. He's got his young charges trying to get them into a move. If you think this is loud, you wait until you get uh, into Jakarta for the Thomas and Uber Cup in a few weeks' time. The atmosphere, well, it is just sensational. Okay, the start of the second. Second game. must be really pleased as well with what's going on because this is a very exciting tournament the last of the qualifiers for the Olympic Games Zizon Bo and Zhang Jiewen didn't manage it they lost out to uh, Natsia and Widianto will be really disappointed not so here though the Malaysians their aggression continues
Kiang's there while well, he's looking up at the lights. I don't think you can uh, blame those. Who Kiang Kiang? We all. That's out. Lee Yong Day. Don't be too happy with that. The drop, it was way, way out. Oh, oh. Uh, there's some sweat there for sure. We can see it from this distance. It's for all, it's exciting. Some sweat holds up the play. Cool goes on over to have a chat with both Rexy and the other coaches at the bench. But here we go. Long day for seven. there and it wasn't even close the chances of success with that shot would have been pretty remote and I think Rexy signaled that he should have cleared it to the base Long day is 5-4 in the lead now too good Jai Sung Makes an excellent cross court. Touch. That's a lovely, lovely touch. Beautiful. Hardly kiss the shuttle. It's five, six. Jung comes over now. There's a lot of uh, inactivity because the mop has come out. That was a lovely touch by the K. The OKK. crowd determined to support and help these two to get through to the final. The great atmosphere here. Five six in the second. It's long. It's seven five. five. Jung doesn't control the net there, but a little bit anxious, snatched at that. So, Hun Yong will serve it. Oh, behind, still in play. Not now. Unlucky, but always on the back foot there, Malaysia. 
under pressure throughout that rally. 8-6. Great play by Jung at the net. Came forward, anticipating well, put some more pressure on, and that's 9 6. Look at this. I think it was uh, Bunyong who missed that one, actually. chance to close it it's out well that is a big point it was looking ominous could have been a four point lead there with that rally Ku and Tan stay within touch and they're right in the background Lee Dong Su giving advice in this match. All right, we're now set. It's 7-9. It will be Kuk and Kat with the service. Big mistake from a big hit from Yong Day. And at 8-9, the momentum is just swinging back a little bit now towards Malaysia. Well, left, it's 9 all. Oh, that's a great fight back. They were three points adrift. Now they've now come back to leveling. Pressure from the service. 10 9, and it will be Jung with the serve. Oh, he was going to leave it. He should have left it, and it goes to the half. Halfway stage in this second game is 11 9 to Korea. Let's have a look at it. Should he have left it? No. It was in. It was in. But it was a distraction, even the thought of it. And that caused the error. Well, there's not as much uh, excitement in this second game at the moment. But with the score, just two points for difference at the half. 11-9, it's all the play for. The Koreans are being very competitive as you'd expect. Silver medalist in the World Championship. Eleven nine, play. Jung It's good. Excellent work. The backhand from Chan goes to court. It's on eleven. Out. Unlucky. Cool. Kian Kiat can't believe it. But it was just a reaction backhand. Watch this. The backhand, he was just trying to move away out, out of the way. It's just fine. Whoa, so close. What a shot. Wow. Tan Boon Hyo comes up with an absolute beauty. 
goodness me. <laughs> wow, you can't believe it. Watch this. Watch this. The forehand there. And look at that. Absolute precision. It's a cracker. The best net shot we've seen so far. Beautiful stuff. 11-12 is the score. And Jung lies prostrate on the floor. Lots of sweat. Wow. That was exciting stuff. You just keep that kind of determination and touch and you're home and hose, Malaysia. It's KKK with the serve and another point there. It was a good one because it went long and it's leveled at 12. Good thinking, good strategy. Look at the threat of Young Day. He's so close to that short serve. Look at him. He's still gets it in, and that is why, you see? You could tell Young Day was threatening that one big time from the moment that uh, he crossed the net. And now 14 12, and suddenly. It's all back to the situation we had at half time. The retrieving ability of all these men is just extraordinary. It goes down on the Korea side. Whoa, that was a big break for Malaysia. Let's have a look at it. Oh, 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 oh. The feathers actually came over onto Malaysia's side before it went back down onto Korea's. It's 13-14. It's exciting stuff. Adjustment there. Brilliant adjustment. Not this time. Tan did really, really well to just weave away first time, but not that time on the backhand. It's 15 13. Got to keep the intensity, got to keep the aggression. And Young Day, as he said, as Rexy, meanwhile, just looking very, very pensive at the moment. Wow. Too easy for Jung. puts it into the net. A little smile of relief there, I think. It certainly is a big battle. As I said, they've only played once before, and Ku and Tan from Malaysia won that meeting. It was in the Macau Grand Prix last October. So they know that they can, but... Of course, that was just after the World Championship, so... Have that uh, scalp. A little bit of uh, gamesmanship going on here. It's at 15 16, and Young Day, the 19 year old, tells the umpire what he thinks. Not a good idea. Young misses out there at 17 15. Got to put those clears a bit deeper. Young Day is absolutely dynamic. Doesn't matter where the shuttle is, he can find a space to give it a big boom.
control of that rally. Push, 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 aggression all the way until he forces the error. I must say, KKK did a great job in getting to that one at all. But there at the moment, Lee Dong Su will be pretty pleased with what he's seeing. It's 18 15 in the second. Oh yes, absolutely brilliant pickup. That was first class. You could tell from the moment that that one went back, back over that Malaysia were in with a, a real chance of securing the point, which they did, 16-18. service a bit of sweat on the court again we have a little break I'm not sure whether this helps you know I have a feeling that uh, certainly Rexy would like to keep it continuous once they have the point and a little momentum they don't sue meanwhile well it's all thirsty work isn't it 16-18, big point here, and that's long, 19-16, Kian Kiat puts it way long, it's 19-16, Jung will serve, and it's 20-16, and that will force it now to a rubber game. All game points, that's game. it. It's 21 16. Second game, it's one silence one here one in the Johor Bahru Stadium. Yonit Sunrise Badminton Asia Championships 2008. The last semi final will go th through to a third game. The Koreans have fought back well and have leveled it. Confirmation then, one game each. 21 16, 16 21. How close is that? Of this third and final game it will be Lee to serve. Do or die for Malaysia here. That's the first point. Just losing the plot a little bit at the moment. He took the foot off the gas 
in the second game. They just can't give these Koreans any space at all. Uh, Boon Hyong, who was tempted to leave that shot that was wide on the tram line. He took it, which gave uh, Yong Day another big chance. 3 1. And he did well there, but oh dear, what a pickup! Oh my goodness, Malaysia surely can't win this. They can, they have. It's five all. Wow, that was an extraordinary rally. The Koreans should have won that point twice, but they didn't make it. That will give a Malaysia a huge, huge lift and boost their confidence. That was an excellent point. out with a real cracker there at the net too fast watch this and just watch his reaction afterwards well we didn't miss, we missed that one but i tell you it was very very aggressive six five in the third it couldn't be closer excellent match seven five have just got to keep the faith they uh, at the moment they're just a little bit back on the heels the Koreans have got an extra bit of spirit in their game you can feel it and again there uh, that's an excellent response beautiful reflex defense wow he didn't deserve it did he <laughs> Back on his heels and way, way out of it, but uh, the shuttle came straight to him. Three-point gap again. And now to four, it's 9-5, nine, nine, and there's no doubt the Koreans are definitely in the ascendancy. Having lost the first game, they're now really feeling confident. Oh! 
Joe has won three points in a row, and he is the reason why the Koreans are strong at the moment. Great net play. Day. Really, really thrashes his racket because he didn't mean to do this. Watch this. It's not a very clever piece of play. That was extravagant to say the least. And he paid the price. It's 6 10. time break in this third and final game and that is not good that will be frustrating they will change ends and their heads will be down a little bit Malaysia after that oh dear. Yeah, there is that threat you see Jung was really really aggressively coming forward for it at the half then it's 11 points to six in favor of Curry Eleven six. Career will serve. It's uh, Lee Young Day who will take it. It's good. Hope of a revival right here. It would be a huge comeback, an impressive fight back if they manage it. The pressure of home soil sometimes can work in your favor. I think the expectations now are just a little bit too high for the Malaysian duo. It's 12-7. Too good. And <laughs> Joe, he really is. He's a dapper little fella, but I tell you, he absolutely commands that net. Okay, the mopping complete, we get underway, 8.13, again a big uphill battle for the Malaysians. It's cool with the service. Oh, what a touch, what a touch. Again, Jung is full of confidence, isn't he? That is brilliant, from deep, he just touches, he's bouncing around, he's in great form at the moment, 14.8. Oh, 
win. It's not over yet, but they need to make some significant progress very soon. It's very interesting. Since Jung Jai Sung has been taking over most of the point scoring, Lee Young Day has made a lot of the errors. It's the only reason why Malaysia is still in with a chance. That's out. Jung makes an error. 10 40. 10 40. Two or three more of those, please. That will make it interesting. Rexy sitting without a great deal to shout about at the moment. So, with everything to shout about. Here we go then. It's ten fourteen. Ten misses another one for 15 10. The Koreans, having lost the first game, are now looking in really, really good shape to go through to the final. 16 10. Well, you can hear what the crowd think about that a misunderstanding. Tan couldn't get it second time round. Watch the chase. Oh, where is it? Is it mine? Yes, it is. Go for it. It's a better shot. Gen Kiat leaps high. Good placement. Yeah, it's a great, great. I leap smash. Well, they've got the service, but they're not making anything with it. They're not making it do anything. That gap still remains at five. And it'll be the same again. In fact, it's increased now. It's 17-11. It would have been nice to have a Malaysian in the final day, but it's looking increasingly doubtful that that will happen. Again, the mops come out. Frustration for all of us here, but uh, safety, I guess, is a major concern. Well, it would take something really, really special for the Malaysian duo to get out of this hole. 12-17. They need at least three or four points during this service. That's one of them.
just long. And it gets a thumbs up from Lee Young Day, the line judge there. Let's have a look at this again. It's up and it's, yeah, just long. 18.30, they just can't make any inroads into that lead. In fact, now it's all over, I think. 19.13, the crowd are beginning to leave. Shot of 14-19. But I think it's all too little too late for Malaysia. They will be really disappointed. They were looking forward to a big, big performance here. Still might get it. We still might get it. That's 15-19. The crowd really, really do need to lift them here. They started out with an absolute train speeding train and now they've they've come back to a really a, more of a cargo coach at the moment it's not that great but there's still a chance 15-19 Malaysian fan. That's out. 16-19. Come on, Malaysia. Couple more points, and that'll get interesting. We are in the third and final game of this men's double semi-final here in Johor Bahru. The Onyx Sunrise Badminton Asia Championships 2008. We're trying to see whether a Malaysian couple can get into the final day tomorrow. Great pick up. Defending like... Oh, unlucky! Could have been the one, but it's now instead it's match point. It was a brave, brave effort there, but they were really, really defending so well, like Trojans there. Oh dear, what a disappointment. It's match point, having lost the first game, Lee Young Day and Jung Jai Sung, the silver medalists at the World Championship in Kuala Lumpur last year, are now on the verge of entering the final. And they will play against the Indonesian pair of Kandra and Widianto. Well, it's not quite done. Match point it is. This is an excellent rally to finish off. If this is the last point, wow, through the legs. Still going, it's missed! Oh, 17 20! And still, the Malaysians are in it. Wow, what brave battling! Goodness me, they were down and out, they were fighting for every. What's the through the legs coming up? No, no, that's the miss. It was just before that. Wow, still three match points to the Koreans. Well, this is the last match of the semi-final day, so I don't care what kind of shouting and screaming you'll get from me. There's not much more after this. All I want is a really exciting finish, and at 17.20, a couple more points would do me the world of good, let alone the Malaysian squad. Come on, KKK and Boon Hyong. It is, in fact, Boon Hyong will serve it. Jung will receive. Match point, three match points, it's a long one. The crowd are into this as well. It's too good, it's hit there, it's got to be, no! And now it is, it's 15-20! Wow! Well, the smiles are there at the moment, but there's also real apprehension. This is already match point. 
They can't afford any mistakes. 1820. Who dares to believe? Who dares to dream? Goodness. Well, there's certainly a lot of fighting spirit here on court. Tan Bun Yong has the responsibility of getting it in play again, but he's facing Lee Yong Day, who is so dynamic in receiving, and now he backs away. He backs away. And there came Wayana is asking for a continuous movement here. But look at the way Lee Yong Day threatens the serve. It is just so intimidating. Is it going to be short? Yeah, well, look, again, there's a lot of gamesmanship going on here. It's still match point. It's in play. Oh, what a shame, what a shame. Boon Hyung nets it. The Koreans celebrate. It was close, but not close enough. It went to three. It was 21-18 in the third. It was a brave effort but ultimately not good enough. The Koreans will go into the final tomorrow to play against uh, Wijaya Kandra and Nova Widianto of Indonesia. It was a great effort. Well, we hope you've enjoyed that coverage. It's been certainly a lot of excitement here in Johor Bahru. We'll just get confirmation of that then. It is 2-1 to the Koreans. Disappointment from Malaysia. We hope you'll join us again tomorrow for more great badminton from the Yonex Sunrise Badminton Asia Championships 2008. Celebration then for Jung and Lee as they take the favourites from Korea out in the semis. And we hope you've enjoyed, as I say, the, uh, the excitement from Johor Bahru and you'll join us again tomorrow. This is John Burgess in the meantime wishing you a very pleasant evening and returning you to your respective studios.